Osiris Jamal Naeem Jackson, owner of Safe and Sound Stewards, a one of a kind accounting firm. I went to school for accounting, graduated from Rutgers in four years, was in, uh, in the National Association of Black Accountants. So, accounting has been my, my dream since a very young man, for sure. I recognize that a lot of these business owners are great practitioners of their craft. So, it, there's a great filmmakers, there are great um, barbershop owners. They're great restaurant owners, people that know how to do their trade. But a lot of times, the bookkeeping, the tax planning, the preparation, a lot of times they make a significant amount of money not knowing that there are taxes associated with it. Some of the biggest gaps are just the amount of taxes that you have to pay and when you have to pay, and there's different frequencies. Um, so I actually found out about the UEZ um, in my tenure working uh, in Newark in an economic development organization. And I just saw that that was a program that many small businesses were in, which was very similar to the UEZ program in Camden, where it allowed small businesses to collaborate with one another. There were tax incentives available. There were economic development organizations that pushed it. There was a facade improvement program and different programs that offered um, funds for the businesses that were in the UEZ. So I've benefited because I am one, a proponent of the tax, you know, exemption. So if I go to Staples, you know, any of the supplies, any of the equipment that I purchase is tax exempt almost as if I was a nonprofit. Well, the other benefit is that a lot of the economic development organizations in the city, I've been trying to organize and get on the same page to really help these businesses thrive and, and to get the capital that the city has to offer. And so if you think about PBCIP and Camden Special Services District and the UEZ, we're all, we're all trying to collaborate in different ways because there's facade improvement programs right now for, for small businesses. And one of the major knocks on any of these facade improvement programs is that you have to put the funds up first and then you can, it's a matching program where you can get the funds in the rear. But we're, the UEZ is actively looking to partner with CSSD and PBCIP to say, look, if you have a good blueprint and you um, qualify for these funds, that we can consider that application and look at both of these funds and try to make the match be the match on both levels. So as opposed to you having to come out of your pocket 10,000, you, you, you may be able to just put in a solid application, know exactly how you want to deploy your funds and really be able to benefit from being in the UEZ, really get your, your facade improved top to bottom with no cost coming out of your pocket. If we, if we see an influx of improved and beautified facades in the city of Camden, that, that increases the overall property value of the properties in, in these different corridors.